Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In the last episode, we went through Pokemon Road right here, and uh, we are making our way to Fuchsia City right here, where we're gonna probably have another gym battle soon. Um, what does this sign say? Enjoy walking with your Pokemon even more on Pokemon Road. That's what I did. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what is in this gate, if there even is anything worthwhile. It could be something up here, it could be something they can give me. Maybe? In Future City, each resident helps raise the city's Pokemon. It said that in the guidebook. Alright, cool. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. There are people swimming. Peloton to the west. Oh, we can see Peloton from here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. What do you have to say? Pokemon Road lies uphill from here. Yes, we, we already saw that. Anyways, here we are. Still in the route, actually. We're not in Future City yet. We have some trainers here to battle. Um, how is our party looking like? Fine. Our party is looking fine. So let's keep on moving. I always check every grassy area like this for new Pokemon. We have some bird keepers, I would assume. Because there used to be bird keepers here. Yeah. We got Wilton. He has a Fero. Alright. Let's go, Leonardo. Let us go. Okay, let's get hit you up with a sculpt because it's stab and stuff. I should look at my Leonardo stats. Maybe it's like better to have waterfall on. Come on, burn it. Yeah! That's why this sculpt is amazing. Alright, one more scald, one more scald. Look at that, there's no bang guy. Nothing that time. Out of here. Thank you, Burn. You helped. Definitely. Alright, Dodrio is coming out, though. I guess we'll just go into Jenny. Hopefully, I am faster than it. Or else, I might get drill run. Dodrio can have a drill run, right? I think it can. I don't even know if it's gonna have drill run. Because the only reason why the Firo had drill run before was because it's a TM, but I don't think he will have it. No, he has jump kick, though. I forgot they gave a jump kick to Dodrio. Right. Part of me kind of wants to use Dodrio, but I'm already using Charizard as my flying type, so... Don't think that's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Alright, nice. Defeated the Haga. There's a lot of bird keepers here, so I might as well switch to Jenny then. Could switch to Olivia as well, but... Kind of want to outspeed them. We were a little too late there. Didn't get the excellent. But we still caught it. That's what matters the most. Well, I would like to get some more experience by having an excellent intro. Alright, let's battle some more breeders. How do you like my bird call? What the heck is wrong with you, sir? Ramiro! He has the Pidgeot. A nice and powerful Pidgeot. It's done a bunch of it. Bam. That didn't even kill with one hit. I am disappointed. What's Thunder Punch's base power, base power actually? 75. Actually, I think Thunderbolt does more in that case. Don't know why I've been using Thunder Punch all this time then. Oh well. It's fine. It's okay. We don't care much. Alright, let's use one more super potion here on Jenny. Just to be at full health. So I can take on this trainer with a fresh and full health Jenny. Let's go. It's my turf. Mm. You want to have a turf war? Hmm? We're not playing Splatoon. Bird Keeper Jacob. With the Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is such a cool design. It's too bad that the Pokemon kind of sucks. Alright. 
Give him a nice little Thunderbolt. He was gonna have a evolution apparently in Gen 2, but they scrapped it. Which is unfortunate. Because he could he, he could definitely need it because his stats are just very, very bad. And I never get why he didn't get an evolution, honestly. This guy has does this guy have like three far fetched? That would be wild. I wonder if you can get far-fetched uh, in one of this grass. Possible. Probably really rare, though. Level 39! Very cool, very cool. At level 39 as well. Just one more level, hopefully. And then we can get Flamethrower, I think. I think it's level 40. I'm like 99% sure. Actually, no, I'm not that sure, but I'm like 70% sure. Maybe 80. Anyways, that was pretty easy. I love having a type advantage, too. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, though? Alrighty, I think we're done here. There's nothing really interesting going on. Right, we're in Fuchsia City. Lapras sure is wonderful, but where can you catch one? Oh, where can you catch one? I wonder if you can even catch one. Either way, we have the team here, which we can pretty much do already. As far as I result, there's a playful park out in front. Out back is the po Go Park Complex. Ah, so here's the Go Park. Ah, so the Safari Zone is gone. That's unfortunate. Hmm, have you met Bill? He's my grandson. He always likes rare things, even as a child. Yes, I have met him. As far as Owens Warden may be old, but he's still in great health, though his teeth are all flaws, to be fair. Is the golden teeth? My big brother Bill's Jacob. J Jacob? My big brother's Bill's job is transferring Pokemon so people can send Pokemon to one another. He's the one who developed the box system. Oh, when you know the Poke the Go Park? Complex, he made that too, which is impressive from a faraway region. I, think, I guess he's talking about Professor Willow. Which is like the Professor of Pokemon Go. That's cool. We have some more houses here. We gotta check out everything, man. We gotta. Nothing, nothing is untouched, you know? We gotta check everything. That's what we're doing. Okay. You guys have nothing useful to say, though. Well, let's go to the Pokemon Center, see if there's anything interesting around here. First of all, let's heal up. Oh, we got the secret technique, dude, again. No, I feel like using Eevee again. Let's go ahead and put Eevee back in my team for now. Because I think he's about to learn Flamethrower. I guess, I guess I can replace Jenny for now for a bit. The Serena is a little bit on the level now, now that we have stopped using her a bit. Oh, it seems like you've been in quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What most can you learn? Freezy forest and sparkly swill and sappy seed. Sappy seed is a... Physical move. The user grows a gigantic stalk that scatters seeds to attack the target. The seeds drain the target's HP every turn. So it's like... A physical attacking move that puts a leech sheet up on. <laughs> ah. Actually, I do want to learn that. But what, what is the rest? What is the rest? Let's see. Freezy Forest? What is that? Elbow? It's special. It's every stance change among all. Okay. Right. I see. Interesting. They are interesting moves. They're very good moves, but they have such weird names. Sparkly Swirl. Also special. This also heals all satisfaction of the user's party. Not bad. So like aromatherapy with an attack move. I want to learn Sappy Seed though. Yes. Give me Sappy Seed. I'll get rid of Headbutt. Because I have double hedge. Double edge. Sappy Seed. Let's go. We don't have a grass type move on our team. So that could come in handy. Oh, wait, I didn't talk to the old man. Ah. 
Now I need to go back and talk to the old man. And there is this man as well. You can become a great trainer by just raising one of your Pokemon to be super strong. You gotta develop your whole team evenly. But that's no easy task either. Hmm, indeed, indeed. You, do you have a ground type Marowak? If possible, I'd like to trade my Marowak for it. Um, no, I do not. No, I do not. Um, he's gonna give me a Lolan Marowak. That would be pretty dope. But for now, I don't have a Marowak. As I only have a Cubone. I guess I could try and level that up. But I'll do that some other time. Not right now. Not too bothered. Oh gosh, it's these guys again. Oh, wait here, there were loads of rare Pokemon at a Go Park place. So we came to check it out for ourselves. But it was so complicated. App this and connectivity that. It was so creepy we had to get out of there. Meow. Why can't I just trip over our get rich quick scheme already? Mm, feels like I just kicked something really hard. Could it be some kind of treasure? At last, our big score, let's see what it is. Heave ho, heave ho. Well, we just look at that shine. This must be some amazing treasure. As if. Yuck, what are these? Some kind of gold teeth? Teed? No matter how gold they are, some things just aren't worth the effort. Ah, it's a twerp. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Take these off our hands. Okay, you had a pair of gold teeth thrust upon you. Well then, we're busy, so we can take care of whatever those are for us. <laughs> That's right. Now's the time for a fantastic getaway. Team Rocket's Blast. Oh, wait, I didn't say it this time. What? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go and pick up this full heal. Why not? I need to go to Pokemon Mart, actually, and buy some more supplies. But before we do that, some more trainers to battle. I have to exercise and warm up before going out for a swim. By exercising, you mean having a Pokemon battle? Because I can help with that. So we're Richard. I mean Michael. I mean Richard. Let's go ahead and beat up this Tarmy. Yay! We have Serena out. Oh, we can try out our new move. Sappy C. Let's go. Gosh. Oh, really? No. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please. <sighs> Don't be like this. Oh gosh, I think it's gonna hurt. Uh, Serena, please! Okay, oh wow, it actually took out really well. Those Eevee cannons, man. Whoa! Look at his move! <laughs> it killed in one hit. Very nice. Serena, are you strong? I'm the critical hit. Oh. I don't think it would have one shot at it if I didn't land the critical hit, but we take those. Good job, Serena. See, I didn't want my Serena to be too overleveled because I felt like it was made way too strong already. Like, I, I feel like this EV is a lot stronger than a, a normal EV. Either way, wait, slow down, you have a heart attack. No, no, I don't need to slow down. I can go as fast as I want. Faster than the speed of light. Serena, now we're prepared to fight, fight, fight. That was pretty late, I'm sorry. Anyways, here we got a Dratini. Hmm, take this double edge. You have a pretty rare Pokemon, dude. Why can't I get one of those? Yeah. One double edge, all we needed. Good job, Serena. Still looking strong. See, now that Serena is not, like, super overleveled, I actually want to use her. A lot. So, we're gonna use her a lot. Don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry, Eevee is getting some screen time! Alright. That we need to heal up. I like how we're just running with the Team Rocket outfit this whole time. I don't know, I like this outfit, so I want to keep going with it. Hope of the Safari Zone Warden. Is Safari Safari Zone still a thing? Oh, look at this guy. Look at this man. He looks kind of special now. Give the gold teeth to the Warden. The Warden popped it in his teeth. Yuck, they're all sad and gritty. Anyway, thanks, Sonny. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not the one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. I got a safari set. Well, I guess I'm switching outfits now. And here, I'll teach you something neat. A secret technique called Strong Push. What's this, Sonny? You'd rather have your Pokemon learn a secret technique? Well, I suppose it makes no difference to me. Now come this way and have a look. 
Oh boy, those are some interesting boulders. You sometimes find big blocks like this one in caves and other such places, right? You can push them around if you take a moment to gather up your strength first. The trick is... You grit your teeth as hard as you can, if you've got them. And then all at once, just let it rip. Ha! Yeah. Strong push has been learned. <laughs> Look at that! Learning strong push is just one go! Your AV is a clever one, Sonny. Nice. We can push this one away. There's a little hole here. I wonder what this is about. We use strong push. Oh, it's a diglet. Hey, you got a nugget from the diglet. Lol, that's kind of funny. Anyways, let's keep going. Check this out. How, ooh, what do you have to say? This empty house was borrowed and repurposed as a place to share information, but with all the experts around, the place feels a little tense. Mm. What's going on? If you get the same Pokemon species over and over, you got a catch combo. If you can keep going, Earl, you'll be more likely to run to... Oh, there we go. There we go. There is our answer. If you catch a bunch of the same Pokemon species, the chance of you finding an item after catching them increases. I go for Judith and Onyx myself. <laughs> of course you do, because you're a stupid hiker. You're more likely to find an item after catching a Pokemon if you feed it to Pineapple Berry first, right? You've noticed that too, right? I haven't really used Pineapple Berry much, but yeah, I guess. I guess I'll believe you. I guess I'll believe you. Anyway, I wonder if we get a fishing rod or not at some point, but we got a super lure. I don't know if a super rod is gonna be a thing in this game. Oh, we didn't talk to this dude. There are ways to, that you can get special bonuses when you catch a Pokemon. Number one, time you throw to land when the ring is small. Number two, catch them with your first throw, and so on. You'll get a lot of good things out of it, such as extra experience points. We already knew all of this. Well, thanks anyways, dude. I appreciate it. I think. Alright, moving on, though. There is more to the city to explore. So we will definitely do that. Where Sarah has said I'd meet her here to catch Pokemon, but all I'm catching are some weird looks. All right, Eric. I don't know why he had a name, because like, it's just a normal NPC that just talks to you. You tried using next speed, it's temporarily boosts your Pokemon speed in battle. No, I have not. I really don't really use it. Where are all the souvenirs promoting the Go Parks? No t-shirts, no slow globes, not even a paltry postcard or two. Yeah, that is quite weird. All right. What do you have for me, sir? You have Hyper Potions. Excellent. I can get 40 max. I don't need that many, though. I'll get 20. I can get some Ultra Balls, too. They're actually kind of cheap. I'm not gonna lie. We'll get 30. And let's get some full heals as well. We'll get, like, 20. We're stocking up, man. We're stocking up. Alright, I don't think I really need anything else right now. Um, yeah, no. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else here to the left. No. Because that's where the lepers was, so... i just go over here instead. Oh. What's going on? Maybe. Oh, it's a slowpoke. Slow. Maybe he's happy, apparently. Oh. He's talking to everyone. Oh, wow. Kangaskhan is huge, dude, compared to Eevee. Oh. oh, she's having fun playing with the Pokemon. Oh, he can't outrun them. Bruh. Aw. Eevee, sad. Don't be sad. Oh, what's going on here? What is up, Eevee? What have you done? You have talked to things and done stuff. Slow. Okay, I don't know what, that, what was up with that. Is the tower going to charge into me as well? No. Hmm. 
Lapras, Wawa, Mowa. This Lapras is getting on in age, but it's still a real beauty, wouldn't you say? We used to ride on wave and travel the whole wide world together. Splash. Lapras can't swim like it used to. So we'll stay here together. Thank you for listening. As thanks, I'll teach you the secret technique Sea Skim. With this technique, you can travel on water. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your Eevee wants to learn it as well? I'm not sure if it can learn it. It's not a water type. You look determined just like my Lepros. Okay, I'll teach you the technique then. Now you have to keep balance on the water. Lower the center of gravity and keep balance with your upper body. Oh, we get a surfboard. So we're gonna learn the secret technique, Sea Skim. You did great. I'll give you that board too. Right, waves that travel the whole wild world together. Amazing. So can we not like ride on Lapras? That's a shame. Can't ride on water Pokemon anymore, I guess. Alright. We should probably check out Pokemon Go Park, but I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with that just now. It's a full top here too. No orb. No orb. <laughs> yes orb, but no orb. Anyways, let's get in this house. Let's see what's up here. I thought I could get I, I thought I caught a glimpse of something gold and shiny out towards Route 19. Maybe it was some kind of buried treasure. Oh yeah, I already got that. It's the golden thief. Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of Pokemon I've never seen. We nicknamed him Warden Slowpoke because, you know, he has a big and look like a Slowpoke. Wow. That's kind of an insult, man. It's a pretty cool Taurus poster. Kangaskin posters. Interesting. Ever since Warden Slowpoke went fishing in the other day, it's been hard to understand him. All he does is mumble and moan. Maybe his age is finally getting on him. All right. Either way, nothing interesting in this house. Alright, let's check out this Pokemon Go Park building. Why not? I'm meeting my dad here. He's gonna give me the Pokemon he caught. I hope he comes back soon. Pokemon Brawl for Pokemon Go will look like they're having fun in Pokemon Go Complex. Go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now where did Eric go? He's the one that wanted to come here. Oh, you missed him. He's all the way over there. Here, let me give you the Kangaskhan. Ponyta and Trantini I got. Yeah, Big Sis is sending her Pokemon to my Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay, so yes, he has the phone in hand, and he has the Switch, and he's sending it. Cool. Over to the Go Park complex, what would you like to do? Enter the play yard, enter a Go Park, there are explanations. Bringing Pokemon. You can bring your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to a Go Park. First, go to Options in the main menu and select Open Pokemon Go Settings. This will allow you to pair your game with a Pokemon Go account. Next, select the Pokemon you want to send. Note that once you bring a Pokemon to a Go Park, it cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. Or would you like to know? Oh no. But Pokemon Go go. Right, you will find a Pokemon brought from Pokemon Go by laying in Pokemon Go Park. Come and speak to Pokemon, try and catch it or to move it to a different Go Park. Once you catch a Pokemon in Go Park, you will not be able to return it to a Go Park. You want to leave the Go Park, press the X button. Okay. Play yard. You have 25 of the same species of Pokemon in the Go Park complex. You will be able to use the play yard. Guide your Pokemon to the Go at the top of the yard. If you are able to guide all your Pokemon to the goal within the time limit, you win. Be careful of the Pokemon that pop up from the ground, though. They can get in your way. You want to stop... Okay. I guess that's something you can play. I don't know if I want to do this just now. I mean, I do have my phone here. And I can try and link this up, maybe? Possibly? Probably? 
There we go, finally. Jeez, why, did it, why didn't it work in the first time? Am I the only one that has troubles with this? Pokemon Send, there we go. Oh! It gives us a chance to catch Melton. Oh crap, hold on. I can actually catch Melton here. Okay, now it's working just fine. Yes, give us. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, actually, you guys can see it yet. Well, we need to go to the go park. All right, let's go to the go park. Only eight days remaining for the mystery box. All right. Anyways, I need to search for my Pokemon here, I guess. Um, wherever the hell they are. Oh, they're both here. Hello, Melton. Let's catch you. If you catch Pokemon Go Park, they are able to change from the Pokemon. That's fine, that's fine. I just want to catch it. No, oh, definitely using an Ultra Ball. It is still super red. Whoa. Holy shit. This is gonna be a hard catch. One, two, three. Never mind. We caught it already. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, dudes. We got ourselves a Melton. I know we didn't do too much in this episode, but we got Melton. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, boy. I don't know if I want to use it or not, honestly. Let's catch his Oddish as well. Alright, definitely don't need to use an Ultra Ball on you. Maybe I'll just use a Pokeball. Ah, we felt that. Yep, we just needed to use a, a Pokeball. Yeah! Got that too. Alright, well, I'll do more of this probably off-screen, just to try and probably complete the Pokedex that way, because it's got to be a lot easier this way, honestly. Alright. Well then. Whew. Let's exit out of here. And I think that's all that there was to do in Fuchsia City, though. So, um... I don't know how long this episode is going to be exactly because I'm probably going to cut out a lot of parts. I mean, I've been recording for like 47 minutes, but it's definitely not going to be nowhere near that long. There's just been trying me trying to connect to the Pokemon Go. I'm going to cut a lot of that stuff out because it was kind of a hassle, honestly. But hey, we at least got a Melton for it. Let's actually check it out real quick. Let's check what his natures are and stuff before we end it off here. Here it is. Let's, let's see. Let's see. It is a bold nature. Damn. Looks like it's steel type. Head it only has headbutt harden and tail whip. It's level 16. Alright. Look at this look at this weird ass thing, dude. Can't rotate it. I wanted to look at his tail more. But yeah. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I want to use him, honestly. Like this lowered attack. Uh, man, that's not good. Well let's Yeah, that nature is Kind of a questionable. We don't really want a nature that lowers our attack, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode where we went into the Pokemon Go complex part thing, whatever you want to call it, and we explored Fuchsia City and stuff like that. In the next episode, we will. Uh, I'm debating on going through this route first or going through the gym right away. I don't know how high the levels will be, but. I guess I'll check that in the next episode. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.